Big Numbers in Global Trade and Logistics, presented by Cross-Border Research Association, Switzerland. Earth is a big planet. Its volume is around 1 trillion cubic kilometers and has a surface of approximately 0.5 billion square kilometers. Despite the immensity of the planet, global supply chain connects virtually every corner of the Earth. Around 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans. Therefore, maritime transport plays a big role in global logistics. In fact, ships carry around 80% of international freight volumes by weight. Global supply chain impacts a big part of the 7.4 billion people who live in the world, including yourself, relatives and friends. As a consumer, you benefit from instance from access to a broader range of relatively inexpensive products, compared to a situation when overall trade will be a national or regional instead of global. Around two-thirds of the world population are considered to be particularly active beneficiaries and contributors to the global supply chains. The total gross world product is the sum of gross national products of all countries in the world. In 2015, it reached $74 trillion in nominal terms. Around 45% of this value is attributed to trade values in raw materials, agricultural and manufactured goods. In the grand scheme of things, one person's export is one person's import, thus the total value in both is around $16.7 trillion. With this amount of money as $1 bills, you can build four stacks from Earth to Moon. Global Logistics Services enables the fulfillment of international trade deals and transactions. In 2016, the market value of logistics services was around $4.2 trillion. Let's stop for a moment to look again some of the big numbers shared so far. We live in a large planet with over 7 billion consumers, many taxpayers and some employees in global supply chain systems. Export and import value each year $17 trillion and global logistics market over $4 trillion. Lots of money, transactions and movement involved to make all of this happen, hopefully in a high, secure and safe manner. Next, let's take a more detailed look on the global maritime logistics. First, there are a bit over 90,000 commercial ships registered in countries around the globe. Commercial ships include oil tankers, bull carriers, general cargo and container ships. A bit under 80% of these ships are sailing on the seven seas at any given time. By the way, did you remember that around 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans? No wonder the maritime transport is so important. This enormous total fleet of 90,000 commercial ships makes call on almost 7,500 commercial seaports worldwide. At each of these ports, the competent government agencies like Customs and Port Authorities must ensure a full compliance with import-export sanitary, phytosanitary, safety, security and other applicable rules and regulations. Sounds like a very important job to secure the country, don't you think? Every year, ships move freight volume that fill up 700 million standard 20-foot shipping container. If we pile these 700 million containers vertically, the length of the container stack will equal 10 flights between Earth and Moon. Let's summarize what we have learned so far about maritime logistics. We have over 90,000 commercial ships, calling near 7,500 ports, playing an important role in near 700 million container movements. Now, what if there were illegal shipments among them? It could be anything from counterfeited goods and illicit narcotics to light arms and even weapons of mass effect. Who can detect such illegal items and take them out from the global supply chain system? Sounds a bit like a needle and the haystack dilemma. Now, let's focus on air cargo industry. There are currently bid under 20,000 commercial planes, including cargo only, cargo passengers, and passengers only plane with a minimum of 100 passengers per plane. It is estimated that by the end of 2025, there will be around 39,000 airplanes, of which 33,000 will be newly built. Every day, there are a bit over 102,000 commercial flights, totaling over 37 million flights on an annual level. Converted these into depart flights, we will have 1.2 flights per second. Pretty frequent, isn't it? It has been estimated that typically there have been approximately 15,000 aircraft in the air. This is some 75% of the air fleet size. 
Comparing with a bid under 70,000 commercial ships sailing on the seven seas at any given time, the number of commercial planes is 80% less than ships. What do you think is that? There are close to 18,000 commercial airports in the world, forming the departure landing network to the commercial flight business. In fact, there are 2.4 times more commercial airports than commercial seaports in the world. Make sense? Think about it. To summarize, air cargo plays an important role in global supply chains, especially with high value and perishable goods that needs to be transported with care and fast. However, air cargo transport also poses challenges to governmental agencies. For example, these agencies must keep explosive devices out of the supply chain. Now, coming towards the end of this animation on big numbers in global trade and logistics, let's show some numbers about customs. Typically, each country has a customs administration, so there are over 190 administrations in the world. The World Customs Organization is internationally acknowledged as the global center of customs expertise, playing a leading role in discussion, development, promotion and implementation of modern customs systems and procedures. Currently, it has 182 members. According to rough estimates, there are around 700 to 900,000 customs officers working in these administrations with a dual task to facilitate and secure the global trade flows. Not a very big number of officers, considering the vast trade and logistics volume seen so far on this presentation. Would you agree? Unfortunately, the global supply chain system has to deal with all kinds of illicit activities. For instance, tax fraud, counterfeited goods, illicit narcotics, light weapons, illicit waste, and dozens of other prohibitions and restrictions. Not forgetting the major concern since 9-11-2001, a risk of having weapons of mass effect, was it chemical, biological, radiation, or nuclear, hidden in the supply chain. This could be one very unfortunate incident among billions of container movement, a true needle in the haystack situation, which custom has to detect and stop from causing a massive destruction. All in all, we need the best available human and financial resources for our customs administration, topped with excellent public-private cooperation programs of activities in order to protect our societies from all the bad shipment floating and flying around the global supply chain system. Thanks for watching this whiteboard animation by Cross Border Research Association. Please visit our webpage. Email us if you have any question or suggestion and follow us in Twitter.